Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last part, we slipped our way under the plate. In this part, well, we're going to explore it a bit more. Uh, we just got the Aegis Armlet, so now we're going to head back down this ladder. And actually, I want to see the stats on the Aegis Armlet. Do, 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 do. Less slots, higher magic defense, and the magic defense percentage, well, that, that's kind of broken in this game, unfortunately. If it was working, I think that'd be, like, what probability the magic would miss or something. Uh, if you did, if you saw it, there's a chest in the top right corner up there. We're going to have to find another way to get to it. And the random battle. Is it new? I don't know. Indeed, it's new. This is a manhole. Really odd name, man. Um, I don't know how tough he is, actually. Well, that was easy. Vincent killed him. That helps towards his kill count. I guess they are really easy. And contain his level up again. So now we have that wind based spell. What's it called? Um, oh, it's called Tornado. Wind elemental attack some kind, sometimes causes confusion. Nice. Now then, as we keep going to the right... Oh, again, random battle! Why? Figures as much those tanks are weak against lightning, because I use magic breath. Anyway, see, we jump across the gap, but we fall. See, that's what I mean. If you kept going to the right, you would have fallen, and there's no way back up. So you're going to have to go to the left, jump up on this piping, climb up this ladder. It's going to take a while, but thankfully you don't find random encounters on ladders. Don't prove me wrong, game. That'd be so annoying. Keep going up after you take the first trip off the first ladder. Just keep going. And then you will find yourself here at this ventilation shaft. What you gotta do? Jump in. This is going to bring you out here. Now there are a few treasures to be grabbed. Firstly, well, we will have to go up that ladder to get one treasure. And here is a starlight phone. That's obviously a weapon for Kate Sith. I mean, he's got phone in the name and random battle. It just seems like everything here is weak against lightning. Anyway, Sid is slightly low on health, so we will have to cure him. And Vincent is low on MP, so we're going to use a turbo ether. Nice. And there's a chest over here. What's in this chest? An elixir. Nice. Uh, there's nothing down there except the way forward, so head up these this flight of stairs to back up here, and this will... Oh, this is actually the way forward, isn't it? Uh... Can we climb up this ladder? Well, if we're down there, we can. Okay, we're gonna have to actually take that route in random battles. Magic breath can be so overpowered sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to head back down. I went the wrong way. And I'm going to pray. And I mean pray. Oh, why so many random battles? Oh, now this is a new one. This is a behemoth. I don't know why it's living under the plate, but just, just roll with it. This guy is pretty darn tough. There's actually another variation of this thing called King Behemoth, I believe. And the King, actually, upon death, casts Meteor. Well, not Meteor, actually. Casts Comet. Comet 2, I think. Uh, I don't know if it heals against anything, but we'll try Magic Breath. It sure as heck's got a good attack power on it. So it's a good idea to set yourself up like you would in a regular boss. I don't know if you can sense it. Do that. Oh, it counters with flare. Oh, you jerk. See that? That just insta-killed. That was Vincent, even. He's the one with all the life magic. But we encountered a similar situation back in... Oh, what fight was it? Okay, level 45. Oh, he's almost dead. I'll actually let Vincent finish him off. Now, I'm actually going to save that limit break. Because the level 4 limit breaks are not to be trifled with. You just can't carelessly... Oh! Okay, 
Priest said, you go ahead and heal. Vincent, you kill it. Come on, kill it, Vincent. There we go. Um, and like I was saying, well, actually, I don't really know what I was saying other than the fact that level 4 limit breaks are not to be used lightly. They're very hard to charge up, and at the same time, are rather expensive in a way. Not in the sense like, you know, it takes a lot of turns or it costs a lot of gill. Hell, speaking of which, we don't even really need gill anymore. Like I said, it's, it's no object to us anymore. Anyway, go ahead and climb up here. I see that chest there. Um, I know I can get to that ladder. I would believe. So many random battles. Okay, I can't... Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Just a little worried there for a minute. We would go ahead and head up here. There's a chest. I don't think this is the same one as on that other screen. I might miss it. Oh no, I think that's it. This is a Max Ray. This would be a weapon for Barrett, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, Max Ray. Now we go ahead and head right back down. There's gotta be a way over there. I swear there is. I just can't remember it. From here, we go back into the vent. Crawl our way out and jump back up here. I'm surprised with Cloud's jumping ability. Get in front of this. Actually, is there a way? I'm not sure. I actually have to take the stairs. I wish I knew. Um, nothing special. Can't knock that back up, no surprise. Um, hopefully I didn't miss it, because I think it's a rather quote-unquote, important item. Let's head back up the stairs and see if I can't make any progress from here. Oh, I just missed it. Can I, by any chance, jump over there? Don't, don't look like it. Ugh, random battles! Why so frequent? Behemoth does quadruple question mark. Oh god. Uh, Phoenix. Zero. Oh, right. Zero Bahamut's lower. Ooh. This is what Phoenix looks like. And we're in that situation. Dead. And everybody's fully healed. Well, the dead party members, at least. Oh. Note to self. Do not use magic breath on a behemoth. It counters with flare, and it kills your party members. And it also knows the quadruple question mark, and it really hurts! Especially when you, like, cut off its HP by half. And no, this is the way forward. Isn't it? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Ah! So many choices. I'm going to save just in case. So it is the way forward, well then I need to head back. Probably did screw myself out of a few items. Oh well. Anyway. Let's see, is this the way forward? Yes it is. 
That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Um, well, we can't... Oh, yes, we can head back. Just very picky about it. Um, if we keep heading back... And there are random battles in the subway still. Very annoying. Oh, heck no. I hate these things. These things... Once I change my rows, as we were snuck up on. As you can see, they can do slow on you. But what they try to do is give you status ailments. And all they do is slow. They just start spamming it. Oh, I guess that's all they can do is slow. <laughs> it's still annoying. Very annoying, you little things. I hate you. Do you not know this? I hate you very much. I, did, I didn't catch their name. I shouldn't, like, highlight them. If they don't die from this... I, I will refer to them as the annoying things that cast slow on your party members one at a time. Ooh, they dropped turbo others, so I guess we want to grind those. It's a good idea. Bear! Jeez! You're quick. What's up, big man? Leave this to me. Hurry to the cannon. Um, what are you shooting at? There's nothing there. Can we just keep going? This may seem like it's useless, but trust me, it's helpful. Just keep going. Keep going. Goodness, I gotta, I gotta like record to like 20 or so minutes. Bringing time into this, but just so many random encounters, it's annoying. Puddle of water, we're getting close. I promise. Random battles, hate. Those little annoying things that cast slow on your party members one at a time are actually shadow makers. Was it Dark Maker or Shadow Maker? I don't know. It, it's, it involves something with shadows and darkness. Either way, they're, they actually look like lamps, so it makes kind of makes some sense, at least. Anyway, just keep going. This may seem fruitless, but it actually is fruitful. Okay, really? They really need to, like, put that event thing somewhere else. Okay, this has power source. It's just, like, Four more screens to go. Maybe five. Then we'll get what we want. Random battles. Those shadow makers are so annoying. Anyway, just keep going. It's really annoying and really, really long trek to get there. Here's something else. Guard source. Very nice. Tears. Red 13. Hey, what's going on, buddy? I smell it. The cannon's not this way. How can you smell it? It's not oil-based, I don't think. It's a machine, but still. Keep going, regardless of Red 13's warnings. And, of course... I just went back. Ugh! Hate. Okay. Ugh. Just a ton of turbo ethers. Anyway, keep going down. We're almost there. But then the trek back up is going to be really annoying. And this is the screen, I believe. If the random battles would let me. Now then, will you random battles feck off for a minute? Now, this is a mind source, and this is a magic source. We go down one more screen. We'll find the save point. <laughs> Woof. And Earth was born. We have a mastered Earth Materia. As you can see, there's a Materia down here. I'm going to pick this up before I cut off the part. It's the W item, and in the Final Fantasy series of games, whenever there is a W at the beginning of it, that means two. So, sort of thing. So in other words, W item means two items. So in other words, when you equip this mat command Materia, in battle, you can use two items with that character. 
Very handy. So I'm going to cut the part off right here. So guys, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And in the next part, we're going to make the long trek back. So until then.